Discord just released Intents on their API and JDA updated accordingly. So let's go over what Intents are and why you should be using them. Today's video is proudly powered by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Get your products hosted by them with their cheap, reliable services. So what are you waiting for? Check them out in the description below. What exactly are Intents? Intents, also called Gateway Intents by JDA, are specific flags you can set to, for example, disable the typing event or disable direct messages. Disabling events from Discord, like the typing event that you don't ever need, gives you a massive boost in performance since you don't have to deal with those events anymore. You can just forget about them. So let's go over setting up gateway intents in JDA. To use intents, make sure that you have at least JDA version 4.1.1 underscore one two one if you have any version below that version you might not have intents so let's go over to our build file and make sure we update the version accordingly as you can see i'm using gradle for this so we need to be using version 4.1.1 underscore one two one and let's import the changes from Gradle. Now that, that is done, we can go over to our main class and you instantly see that the JDA builder is deprecated. So let's have a look why exactly it is deprecated. Looking at the JDA documentation gives us a very good explanation as to why the constructor is deprecated. As you can see over here, it says, due to breaking changes to the Discord gateway, you are now required to explicitly state which events your bot needs. For this reason, we have changed a few factory methods that require setting gateway intents. Revert to create, create default and create light instead. So I guess we could just use create default instead. So when looking at create default, you can see that it takes in a string and a collection of gateway intents. Of course, there's also an overload so you don't have to pass a collection to it. So let's use that overload instead, right? So new JDA builder, and we're gonna say dot create, as we saw, create default. This takes as parameter, first parameter, our token, so we can get rid of the set token method. And didn't we see in, in the code that we had at least like one gateway intent required? Why is it not erroring? Let's have a look. As you can see by default, it will apply a default gateway intent, which is every intent except for the members intent, the presences intent, the t and the two typing intents. So with intents, we should state which events we need or which intents we need. So let's take a look at all the available gateway intents. And I'm gonna split this vertically while we do this. To figure out what gateway intents we need, we need to look at what events we are using. So first of all, we are using the ready event, but the ready event doesn't have a gateway intent attached to it, so we don't need to worry about that. Next up, we have guild member join and guild member leave. Guild member join and guild member leave are member events, meaning that they need the guild members intent. So let's start specifying the gateway intent by adding it as a extra parameter to create default. So gateway intent and we want to say gold members. That's cool. We got we right now have our first gateway intent configured. So with just the gold members intent, we will only get the member events. Message events will not work in this case because we didn't specify that we wanted them. And since our bot uses the gold message received event, we want the gold messages if, uh, gateway intent. So gateway intent dot gold underscore messages. And if we look at the documentation, it says message events from text channels in golds. These message events include create, update, and delete, so we don't have to worry about specifying those individually. Other than that, we should be good to go for this bot. So let's hit the play button and see what happens. 
And what we see right away is that we get an error from JDA. So why are we getting this error? Well, if we read the message, it says, cannot use cache flag voice state without gateway intent girls gold voice states. So what is happening here? By default, JDA has the voice state cache enabled. And because the voice state cache is enabled within JDA, we need to specify the gold voice state's gateway intent. So let's go do that. In our code, under the gold members intent, we add a comma and add the gold voice states to there. Now let's hit play again and see what we get. We get another error. And this time it's because of emotes. We cannot use cache flag emote without the gateway intent gold emotes. So what we can do, we can just sit like this and copy it. We can go over to the rest of our gateway intents, hit comma and paste it. So let's boot it up right now. Let's see what we get. Login successful and a different error. WebSocket connection was closed and cannot be recovered due to identification issues. Close code 4014, disallowed intents. Your pod might not be eligible to request privileged intents such as gold presences or gold me members? What is going on here? Gold presences and gold members are privileged intents. This intents give you all the member events. And because Discord believes that these two intents hold sensitive data, they want to whitelist your bot for you to use them. As of now, to get whitelisted for these two intents, we need to go to the developer portal. And it's actually a very simple process. So once we are at the developer portal, we need to go to our application. Once at our application page, we can go to the bot tab and scroll down to the privileged gateway intents. And because we don't use the presence intent listed here, we can just leave this unchecked. And we do use the server members intent, so we need to check this. But before you check it, make sure to read this note here. It is very important that you read this because as you can see, note, this may limit your bot to 100 servers in the future. Read more here. So once you have read that, you can check this switch on and hit save changes. And now we can just close the developer portal. Back in our code, we can hit the play button again. And as you can see, ManuDocs JDA is ready. So now we can just go over to Discord and type, uh, what was my prefix again? Ping. Yeah, there we go. It just works. Now let's see what else can we do. The help command. There we go. It all works again. But there was this thing about the cache, wasn't there? If you take a closer look at create default, you can see this apply default method. And it sets some disabled cache flags. So let's just copy this and add this to our own code. And I'm going to make it a bit nicer. Because we don't need gold voice states and gold emojis, we can turn those intents off. But if you have a music bot, you will need to enable the voice states cache and the gold voice states uh, gateway intent. Because without those, it will be very hard for your bot to track whether it's leaving the voice channel or joining the voice channel. And if you use Lava Link, it won't even work then. But back to the point, uh, we're gonna disable the voice states cache and emoji cache because we don't need it. Disabling this cache will also mean that we will that our bot will use less memory while running. So we so so in our code we can remove these two gateway intents. And to the cache flag list we can say cache flag dot emote and cache flag dot voice state as you can see our cache flags are passed to the set disabled cache flags method on the JDA builder this means that these caches in here are disabled and you can disable a lot of stuff for example you can disable permission overrides cache 
you can disable the activity cache, the emote cache, client status cache, etc. etc. There's a lot of stuff you can disable with these caches. And if you want to disable them all, I would suggest making your bot a private bot, since especially disabling member overrides will probably result in issues. But anyway, let's boot our bot back up now that we've disabled the cache. And there we go. We're logged in and there are no errors and our bot will still function as before. So thank you for watching this tutorial about gateway intents. If you like this new format, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.